Hey everybody, my name is Jim Perry. So I'm metal detecting at a permission today that I've been waiting on for several months. Um, I'm at the site of a structure that is no longer here. Um, a structure that was here in the 1850s. Um, some be work is being done on the area here where it once stood. Uh, some of the dirt's being removed and I've been given permission to detect the spoils and the area as it's being altered. Um, out of respect for the people that gave me permission, I'm not going to show exactly where I'm at, uh, but I will show some of the finds. Um, just pulled into the area just now, uh, saw that the work had been begun. Uh, no one's here right now, so I'm going to hit the area here for maybe an hour or so. And I have my first significant target, um, not really a whole lot, lot but um, it is uh, a very, very quick target. So let me show what we got so far. So I'm just making my way up to the area that had been scraped today. Um, it looks like they scraped at least, oh, I would guess four or five inches, maybe a little bit more off. Not such a deep hole. I'll pop this on the simplex it rang in as a 73, 74. And a few that I have. My first wheat scent for the day. Um, that is good news. Uh, that means that there is a possibility of silver being here as well. Um, this is an area where I would expect to find maybe some coins, certainly some relics. So, see what kind of luck we have today. And literally within inches of that, popped out this target. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm going to assume that's an old cufflink. Um, not 100% sure. I thought that maybe this would be loose, but the, uh, the cufflinks that I have had sure looked a lot like this. Oh, uh, very, very promising. And my next target, about three feet away, the uh, first wheat scent was 1925 right there um, from this hole. Another one. Um, another one in great condition. Um, this one is a 1938. They are coming out of here very, very clean so far. Um, thankful for that. We'll see what else we might be able to find here quickly. And just another four feet or so far away. Um, I know that I'm going to find some trash here. Um, part of a bottle with metal caps still there. Thing is, this whole area and I don't want to show exactly where I'm at, but a good four or five, maybe even six inches was scraped off the top and just below the surface of the grass would have been hundreds and hundreds of pull tabs for beer cans and beer bottle tops. So see what might be setting underneath there, even if some of it is trash that's a little bit older. So depending on the grade here, um, there are some parts that were dug deeper than others. Um, an area that was slightly farther down than some of the others. Pull this, I've pulled a few of these um, over the last year and a half. This would be expected here. Um, beer bottle opener, old one, very cool. And next target being an old square nail, um, of which I would expect to find many of here. Um, I did find one last summer. Uh, kind of down below where they are scraping now. Uh, much larger than this. Um, I'm assuming both obviously were from the structure that once stood here. So um, always glad to take these home with me. I, I don't know why. Um, a little piece of history, a part of the structure that once stood here. Looks like this is going to be the day of wheat tents. This is now the oldest wheat scent I have ever found. Um, this is the first year that they were minted, 1909. It is in amazing shape. Um, there's like no patina to it. It's it's really um, a lighter color than the others I've ever dug. So, I'm glad I was driving by today and decided to stop. Very thankful for that. Yeah, take a little more time so we might be able to find. I do have an ongoing permission here, so I can return as I wish as they're working on this area. So. See what I might be able to get tonight, and uh, 
hopefully find a silver. Be great. And the broken off end of another old square nail that I'm assuming is from the original structure here. Oh, very promising. Liking those signs. So I've been here about two hours. I'm gonna call it a day. The last hour has been very, very quiet. Just a lot of um, trash signals. Um, again, they are doing work on the, um, the section of land here uh, that more of it and more of it will be scraped off over the next week or two. And I have an ongoing permission to come back and, and to go through the spoils and as the workers are not here, see what might be left behind uh, underfoot. Uh, let me take a minute here to show you what I did find today though. So there's always, uh, in addition to trash, there's always mystery items, not exactly sure what that is. Thought it was a bottle top, but there's a flat edge on it. Uh, that was a button, always finding pull tabs, ring pulls for cans. Um, a fair amount of ammunition was found here. Um, I'm not going to say why, but this does make sense. Uh, this small chunk of land uh, has been used for 170 years. Um, and the reason that I'm finding ammunition, uh, I know exactly why this was here. Totally makes sense to me. Again, I'm not going to explain it, but um, totally makes sense. Uh, and these are just four of the many uh, small bullet casings that I pulled. Uh, part of an old square nail. Um, I didn't pull every square nail signal that I had, um, but just a few of them um, to take home as a, a you know, memory of the structure that once stood here. Then, uh, boy, it sure looks like a game piece, but it also looks like a cufflink. I just am not sure. If anyone has an idea, let me know. Um, nice little piece I'll see if there's any text on it I didn't see any but I'll look closer when I get home and then three wheat cents right off the bat um, 1938 I believe uh, 1925 and my oldest wheat cent ever in 1909 grateful for that today did not expect uh, first of all to leave a three wheat cents today uh, and certainly not my oldest one ever so um, glad to find those and a pretty productive couple of hours. So uh, again, as work is getting done here uh, and more and more of the land has moved, I do have an ongoing permission to come back as I wish. Uh, the people who invited me uh, will be letting me know when the work gets done so I can come back and, and get to it uh, to see what might be here, what we might be able to dig up out of the ground. As always, thanks for joining me again today. Hope to see you again soon.